everyone today i'll be sharing with you this diy moss wall art that i helped my friend make for her living room it was so much fun getting to work on this with her and i really enjoyed it and it was also a nice change to get to film a diy with somebody else i haven't done that in a while we're so happy with how this turned out and i think you guys are also going to love it as well so if you're curious to find out how we created this moss wall art then keep on watching for this project, we used a 24 by 48 inch clear acrylic pexi glass sheet that's a quarter of an inch thick, a step drill bit, six standoff screws, a drill, gloves because the moss is dyed and it'll get onto your fingers. You can either go with hot glue or Mod Podge, and you're going to need moss, of course, in four different colors. So when I came over, my friend had already drawn out where the standoff screws for hanging this glass will go. She drew it out on the cardboard sitting beneath the glass so we can see where exactly to drill the holes and they were 2 inches in from the edge of the glass. We were a little intimidated by this giant pyramid looking step drill but it ended up working very smoothly and my friend applied like the tiniest bit of dish soap to the drill bit so that it's not too dry and it doesn't lead to cracking and you also see that she also misted some water as well and we honestly don't know if both methods help to prevent cracks but it was something my friend had read online to do and we've got no cracks so it's gotta have done something. The next day, my friend drew in the design she wanted onto another piece of cardboard and then she initialed in the moss colors that would go in each block of the design like a coloring book. Really save that cardboard box that the pixie glass comes in if you're going to get something of this size because we ended up reusing all of it for this project and it really came in handy for my friend when she was mapping everything out. So to add the moss onto the glass, you can go with either Mod Podge or a hot glue gun. We had both laying around, so I started with the hot glue as she tried the Mod Podge, and I did this until we ran out of hot glue sticks, and we were curious if it would make any difference. I think both work perfectly fine if you go with Mod Podge. We do recommend pouring some onto like a plate or bowl and then dipping the moss into the glue before pasting it on and that just makes the process a lot faster. I definitely preferred using Mod Podge because of how easy just the dipping part was. In terms of how long both methods last, we don't know yet but I am curious to find out if we will deal with any fallouts in the future. This was so therapeutic to do. If you're doing this alone, you can like turn on some music or a TV show and just chill while you do it. It's definitely a fun activity to also do with somebody else. And I really liked playing with the moss. It has this like spongy like texture that makes it really satisfying to touch and apply onto the glass, which leads to a random fact about moss that I read online. Mosses function like sponges, which explains why they are so spongy, and they basically use their capillary spaces to hang onto water. So when it's raining, that helps them to soak up that rainwater and maintain moisture. If they're like on soil, it'll help maintain the soil moisture around them and keep like the area around them humid. And this basically enables other plants around them to thrive as well. And I thought that was so cool that because they've got this kind of moisture and water retaining ability, it allows other plants to live. I love how from above the glass it looks like the top of a forest and the colors are so so pretty. I'm curious which of these moss colors is your favorite? Let me know below. So applying the moss took about two hours and then we let it sit to dry for an hour. Once it was dry, we took the glass outside to her patio and we just kind of shook it lightly and then we carefully dusted off all the tiny fallen pieces that were around the edge. And then lastly, we drilled in the standoff screws into the wall and hung the artwork. And here is how it turned out. Yeah. 
And that is it for today's DIY. We are both so happy with how this turned out. And I think this is such a nice statement piece in her living room. I love all the different greens and the texture of the moss really brings in so much life into this space. And I think this is a great wall art idea if you want some greenery but don't want to deal with caring for plants. Let me know below what you think about this moss wall art. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more home decor and home lifestyle videos from my channel, then make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. When you subscribe, hit that little notification bell next to it so that you're notified when I upload future videos. I also love connecting with you guys over on my Instagram and sharing more of my day-to-day -day and behind the scenes of my projects. So if you'd like to connect over there, then make sure you follow me. I'll add my handle right here. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one.